In this video, I'll be showing you how to install a Windows Server 2025 on a VMware Workstation Professional. If you are new to IT, this video will be of great help to you. In this video, I'll be taking you through the step-by-step -step guide on how to professionally install the Windows Server 2025 on a VMware Workstation Professional. First of all, what you need to do is the following. You want to create a new virtual machine. And in the welcome wizard, you want to actually select typical, which is recommended, or go for the custom, which is more advanced. But I would prefer to go for the typical and select the recommended. So click next. And here I want to select, I will install the operating system later. Click next. And here we need to go for a Microsoft Windows. It's actually not a Linux. And then you want to select the version of Windows. Because this is a Workstation Pro, VMware Workstation Pro 17, it has not been updated. You can see we are not seeing the Windows Server 2025, but we, are, we can always select 2022 and click next. Here you want to give your VMware Workstation a name and then select the location and then click next. What you want to also do is the following. You want to either store the virtual machine as a single disk or split the virtual machine into multiple files. The difference is this. If I select a 100 gigabyte right now, what is going to happen is this, or 60 gigabytes. If I say store the virtual disk as a single file, it's going to store everything in one disk, taking a lot of space on my device. But if I say split virtual disk into multiple files, it's going to split it into little files and begins to grow as the virtual machines grow, which is actually the best. But mind you, it may also reduce performance with very, very large disk when your disk begins to grow. In this first one, it's going to only consume the disk, and when your disk is getting full, you will be forced to actually extend your disk. So we can click next, and here we can actually customize our hardware, and then select the location of the ISO image. We can increase the memory, on to just use the physical for now. We can increase the memory to, for example, four gigabyte or eight gigabyte memory, and mind you. You, you will need to make sure that on your physical device, you have a lot of memory to use because if you only have like um, 8 gigabyte on, your, gigabyte on your physical device and you are trying to use like 8 gigabytes on your virtual machine, it's not going to work. And also for the processor, we can just go for the two processor and then for the net network adapter, we can decide to actually add an extra hardware, for example, we can add a network adapter and say finish and then here we can always we can select the host the vm the custom um uh, network adapter and then go for a vmnet zero or you can see we can choose different one and then click close so let me just close this for now and then you can now click finish but i'm going to cancel this because i've already created a machine we want to install so you can see this is the virtual machine so what i need to do right now is to power on this virtual machine you can see i have a hard disk of 60 gigabytes and you can see we have our windows server 2025 and also we also have the network adapter which is the network ad address translation so it's going to be using the network IP address of the physical device is going to get its IP address from my physical device, which of course grant me access to the internet. So now we need to power on this virtual machine. So click, let's boot from the C DVD or CD and then just wait. So now under the language setting, you want to actually language to install, you want to select English. And for time and currency, I want you want to go for the Dutch. I'm going to go for because I live in Belgium, so I'll select Belgium. So select a country where you live and click next. Here you can see it's going to select my keyboard automatically, and then we're going to click next. I'm going to say I would like to install a Windows Server, or you want to repair this device. Well, let me select the, ag the agreement, and then I want to install a Windows Server and click next. Well, because this is going to be my first domain controller, my mind you, I'm using an evaluation Windows Server, so I can actually use this for some time. I'm going to go for the data center evaluation 
desktop experience. So the desktop experience means that I will have the experience to actually log into my Windows and everything. I will be able to actually experience use the full desktop experience instead of just using a kind of a plain installation of Windows, which you need to manage using the command prompt or PowerShell. So let's go for the desktop experience and then click next. Let's select the accept and then we'll wait for some seconds for the installation process, process to start. Here you can see I only have 60 gigabytes, so I'm just going to actually select the whole disk. But we can also create a partition, but let me go for the 60 gigabyte right now and then click next. And now it says install Windows Server 2025. I'm going to say keep nothing. So it's going to start the installation. Well, this installation process is going to take some time. So let's come back again when the installation have completed. Now our Windows Server have been have been installed. So we need to enter our password. So enter a password and then hit finish. So this, this is going to actually finalize the installation process. And what you need to do next is to also install the VMware tools on your device. After installation, you can see we can now log on to our device. So you need to enter Control alt insert if you are using a keyboard because this is a virtual machine. So let me just enter my password. So I'm not going to show you in details how all these are configured. So what you need to do is to select a, um, so all the, um, for example, the accept all the license agreements and then um, accept some of other options which you need to configure before you are able to log on to your device. So I'm not, I'm, go I'm going to skip that and then show you how to install the VMware tools so that you can actually, so that the VM, the, your screen resolution can be changed because if without installing the tools, you will not be able to actually enjoy working with your uh, Windows Server on the VMware Workstation Pro. So right now, let's click don't show this again so that it will not show next time when you're off. And when you restart your server so what we are going to do is i'm going to try to install the vmware tools so let's just install the vmware tools so that we can actually change the resolution so let me go to my dvd drive just wait for some seconds so let's go to our dvd drive and then try to install the tools so click on the setup 64 bit so here we need to click next and then click the typical next and then install. So it's going to install all the required um, tools, all the required drivers on this device. So it's going to actually change my resolution without me doing, you can see it's installing the, um, the video driver. So let's just wait for some seconds and you can see that the resolution is going to change within a seconds. And then we can, we, are, we, are, we will be requested to restart our device well as this video is actually this installation is taking place let me use this opportunity to actually say the following are you working as an IT system help desk or an IT system administrator or you plan to become an IT system engineer please if you think you need a mentor or you need someone who can actually guide you to become an IT professional, you can always send me a personal message or just leave a comment in this in this video and I'll, I will reach out to you as quick as possible. You can also send an email. If you scroll down in the description of this video, you're going to see my email there. So please, you can always send me an email and I will respond to you as quick as possible possible i've been working in the it field for the past 12 years so i believe i have other required skills to actually assist you to or mentor you to become an ict professional so if you want to become an ict system administrator a service desk engineer or even in health an it help desk i can actually guide and mentor you show you how to become even give you some technical skills we can actually do i can also do some private lectures with you on giving you some technical skills that can make you become that prof it professional you have always dreamed dreamt to be so now let's just click finish you can see that my, my resolution just changed and i will need to restart our device thank you very much for watching this video so if you have watched this video to the end 
please don't forget to like this video leave a comment and also help me grow my channel by following me on youtube bye